Hi, divers, by the way. Alec Pierce, uh, Vintage Scuba. Uh, I don't want you to laugh. All right? Now, you're going to laugh, but just don't tell me you're laughing. You sit there when you're really watching this video and don't laugh. I used to be really, really young. I'm really, really old now. But I used to be really, really young. You know, you know how it works. In fact, when I first got interested in scuba diving, I was about eight, maybe nine years old. I started scuba diving when I was 10. First time I went scuba diving, I was only 10 years old. And uh, that's when uh, Sea Hunt started, by the way. And uh, I was really into it. The point is that uh, in the old days, Vinti Scuba, when scuba started, we were young. There were very, very few old Vinti Scuba divers. They were all young. And, uh, and as the scuba market started to grow, as scuba diving became more and more interesting and people started to ask about it and get into it, manufacturers of scuba gear and other manufacturers, not necessarily scuba gear, said, hey, here's our market. Let's make stuff for these people that are interested in scuba diving. So they made scuba gear and they made all kinds of stuff. Well, the game and toy manufacturers, they're, they're usually leading edge. They don't want to be left behind either. So coincidentally with the growth of the sport of scuba, there was quite a great growth in the game manufacturing of scuba games for kids. For kids. Uh, in fact, there were entire catalogs of stuff made for kids. If you watch one of my Sea Hunt uh, playlist episodes, there's one about uh, the, the uh, uh, King Neptune uh, um, line of products. Dozens of masks and fins, spear guns, all kinds of toys. And a whole catalog. They were sponsored by Lloyd Bridges, who was the star, you know, of, of, uh, of Sea Hunt. Now, now, it's interesting because I have had people purchase from me one of those vintage scuba masks. And I've sent, he's paid for it, and I've sent it to him. And then I get a comment, this mask is really small, it doesn't fit my face. Now, this gentleman might be in his 40s or 50s, and he purchased from me a scuba mask from the King Neptune Lloyd Bridges products that were designed for kids, 8, 9, to 10 years old. And he's upset because the mask doesn't fit him. So uh, the point to all this is I want you to understand that there were a lot of kids interested in scuba diving. Most of the early scuba diving interest in the, uh, in the show, Sea Hunt was designed for kids, not really for adults, although adults loved it. So the point is that all this stuff here is for kids. And there were all kinds of this is a sample. I have probably about 20 items here. I didn't put them all out. I have more over there. Another box upstairs. Lots of board games, all kinds of stuff. I want to show you just a few of the games that were designed for children to both exploit the sport of scuba diving as a group and also to promote the sport of scuba diving. Let's take a look at some of them. Now, you really need to realize, of course, I know you know this, that before scuba diving came along, there was actually uh, uh, skin diving. Was a quite a common sport. So you could take a game like this, which you could buy for not very much money, $3.50, and this is a skin diver's gun set. Now, I don't know if you can still see can you, can you Can you sell gun sets in Walmart? I'm not too sure if you can. Maybe you can. And I'm not too sure if they want, would want to be selling a, uh, a gun set for people to go out and shoot fish. Because, you know, shoot fish. I don't know how they think they eat them. But anyway, this is for a kid. It's obviously for a kid. And here is a spear gun. Rubber powered. There's a rubber band. And here's the float on the end. And there's a trigger. And you load this, pull the band back, and aim it. And, and you shoot the fish. Or, oh my gosh, that's a turtle. This is from the 60s. Okay, don't get upset. This is a skin diver's gun set for underwater fun. And you can also use it on the surface. Look at that. You can make these things float. And you can actually use it on the backyard, the backyard pool. This is typical of games that were available in the 50s and the 60s for kids. Skin diving said. Now, there's the one that's a little nicer than that, a little, a little more interesting. I want you to see this. This is pretty interesting. So next, next step up from that one, I suppose, because this one actually came with a real spear gun. Yeah, yeah, this is like a Hawaiian sling. And it teaches you how to hook your thumb in and hold the spear. I'm not going to stretch it too far. Hold the spear, let it go, and it would spring out. And if you were good you'd be able to score one of these fish. Rubber suction tip, and without the plastic, it would hit one of these fish. I said, here you go now with your spear fishing game. Yep. Came with a spear and came with uh, a rubber game fish. The whole thing was in there. Instructions, the whole darn thing. And there's a picture of the fellow using it to spear some fish, take home for dinner. That's a typical game. Now, one of the most uh, interesting games that I have 
is this one. And it's related, these first two or three that I've shown you. This is a skin diving action game. Well, skin diving action uh, in those days meant spear fishing. So uh, you would go skin diving and you have a spear gun and spear fish. So this is a game. It actually is a game. And I want you to take a look at this cover. This cover is pretty neat. Okay, so we have here a young uh, spear fisherman. You notice he's quite young. Um, here's a knife. Didn't matter. Back in those days, uh, kids had knives. You know, I know kids today aren't allowed to have knives. Uh, but back then we had knives. We didn't have a problem with them. He's got his fins on, he's got his mask on, and he's got his spear gun, okay? And there's a fish, he's about to spear. And this is a game, it's an action game for one or more players. Hey, this sounds like an awful lot of fun, okay? And as it says, this is an electronic remote control. Wow, this looks like a lot of fun. And someone would buy this and they would test their skill, develop the coordination. Let me show you what's in this, what's in this box, what this game actually consists of. Okay, here we go. Here is <clears throat> the board, looks like this. You see, and here's the start, and there's different places around there, and uh, and here's the rod, and you stick this rod down into here, and you move it around. Electronic remote control. Now, if you say electronic remote control today, you think of something like a um, cellular phone, you know, a mobile device or some sort like that. Wi-Fi. This remote control, this device, moves some arms in here. And those are crisscross like scissors, and they end in a magnet. A magnet. And you use, you set on the board, you set one of these metal players on the board, and as the magnet comes close to it, it moves the player around on the board. That's it. That's it. I know it sounds simple. I, I know we're not talking downloaded movies on your, on your mobile phone, but we didn't have any of that. This was pretty exciting. Electronic remote control, I mean, they're stretching it there, but that's exactly what it was. This was a very popular type of game in the 50s and 60s related to scuba diving. Okay, let's move on here. Some of the games weren't just pure fun, some of them were educational. This is a sea diver, the underwater explorer. And you can see here these two fascinated kids. Let me just get a good picture. These two fascinated kids, little girl, little boy, and looking at this sea diver. Underwater Explorer, and really all it was, to be perfectly honest, was a long plastic tube on a base, and, and, and there was some gravel in the bottom, and a sea diver inside there, and you unscrewed the tower, and filled that with water, and put the tower back on, <clears throat> and, and with some air in that yellow sea diver, you could squeeze this, see it squeezes, and that yellow, that diver would go up and down. If you recall, uh, if you're over 40 years of age, you may recall that you did something like this back in grade school or high school with a glass tube and a piece of balloon over the top and a little glass tube and you move it up. It was called a Cartesian diver. This is actually a physics principle and this is exactly the same as a physics demonstration that you may very well have enjoyed back in school. But it was sold as a toy. Great little toy back in the old days. Okay, let's carry on. There were lots of these. You may remember some of these. Anybody over 40, 50 years, they remember these. Okay, pinball machines before there was pinball. There were lots of these, all different types okay, for every occasion. And there were quite a few for scuba, skin diving too. I have several. This, this is a, what I call a large one. I have a small one, so I put this on. Oh, you remember these skin diver game. Wow, you see a mermaid, and there's an oyster, and all kinds of neat stuff. And each one of these little hoops on here has different points. So what you do, you set this down on the table. There's a there's a stand on the back. You set it down just the right angle, and then you pull this back, and the, and the marble goes up over the top, and, and you try to make it land. Oh, three thousand, Kevin, I'm ahead. Okay, and then we'll try one more there. Oh, 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 not very good. Five hundred, and so eventually, when you get all those marbles up there, then you start over. You play the game. You roll them all back up to the top and roll it back down like that on the, on the inside like that. And away we go. Okay. Oh, 5,000, Kevin. You haven't got a chance. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, uh, before Xbox. But a neat, neat game. All right, let's carry on. A couple more. James Bond 007. I have a lot of James Bond stuff. This is a very small one. Little James Bond there with a spear gun. Secret Agent James Bond 007. These kind of toys. Again, I don't think these toys are that popular anymore. We could sit down. The kids sit down with a bunch of toys and just play anymore. Which is a shame. Because we had so much fun. We actually had to use our imagination. Yeah, our, our imagination. Not somebody else's. And I, I don't want to make a political statement here. But when you watch a video or a TV or an Xbox, you are watching someone else's creation, not your own. Anyway, 
This was a neat toy we had back in the old days. So there were several of those. This was a Devon. This was a wind-up one. Had a little motor. You wound it up, put it in the water, and the fins kicked, and it went out through the water like that. Sounds pretty hokey now, but it was great fun back in the old days. How about Scuba Scout? This was Billy Blastoff. Now, maybe some of you people, you have to be over, I think you have to be over 60 to remember this, but Billy Blastoff was one of those, uh, one of those uh, characters created years and years ago. And there was Billy Blastoff Scuba Scout and Billy Blastoff Space Scout. Now, this is before we walked on the moon, long before. But you could buy these little comic books for a few pennies. And here he is, Billy Blastoff Scuba Scout. And there's an adventure story in there about Billy Blastoff saving somebody or helping somebody. Got his spear gun there. And, oh, oh, ooh. No wonder. And then in the second half, there was Billy Blastoff Space Scout. And he does something related to space. Neat toys back in the old days. Okay? Very, very common. This is a model. It's actually a model. I'm sure some of you have seen this. A U.S. Navy SEAL uh, with, with his double hose regulator and his rubber dry suit, knives and gauges and everything else. And this was actually a model that uh, you would uh, uh, assemble, put together one-eighth scale. So like this, up like that, smaller. And uh, very brand spanker new from the 60s in the box. Okay, I'm going to go a little farther. I'll come back to this one in a few minutes. At the Flying Sub, another model, Flying Submarine. Oh, Jacques Cousteau. I'm sure some of you may have heard of Jacques Cousteau. Parker Brothers game, the underwater world of Jacques Cousteau. Yep, another board game. And I have several board games, actually. I have a couple of board games uh, that are related to Jacques Cousteau. I don't know this. Oh, I do know this one. Yeah, this is pretty neat. It features his uh, his uh, ship, the um, the Calypso, and and it's a board game. So you have cards and and, and you throw dice, and, they, and you travel you travel around the board as he travels around the world doing his underwater adventures. Board game. Remember board games? Yeah. Sure. Anyway, let's carry on. One more. Back here. Action Man. This is a good Action Man scuba diver. I don't know if this is that old. old. I think this is from the 70s, maybe the 80s even, Action Man. But again, look at all the, the spear gun. Got to have a spear gun. Pins, everything else. And so you play with this. I guess this is kind of like a, a, um, what's, what's, G.I. Joe. Yeah, G.I. Joe for scuba divers. There it is. Thank you, Kevin. G.I. Joe for scuba divers. Okay. Now, I want to show you one, two, two. I've saved two to the very end because these are really pretty special, the both of them. Okay, the first one is, uh, is Flippy the Frogman. Now, the first Flippy the Frogman that came out looked like this. Came in these cans. This is what the toy came in. You see it? Flippy the Frogman. What the heck is Flippy the Frogman? Well, first of all, <clears throat> when you open the can, I'm missing a lid. Somebody has one of these games and it has a lid. Please call me. Okay, so Flippy the Frogman. So you take Flippy the Frogman out. My gosh, it's a little plastic flippy frogman thing. That's all it is. Pretty simple. Hmm. What do you do with that? Well, if you probably learned about this on TV, there's an ad as seen on TV. The flippy frogman. They swim, dive, float, climb, and turn all under their own power. Kind of like the electronic remote control. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, no strings, no wires, no batteries. Can't say no to that, Mom. Mom, I want one. Here now in the store, okay? You take flippy the frogman out. Now, what you do next is get your books out. Yep. I still have the original books. So there's one book in here that talks about you too can be a skin diver. Well, that's not too exciting. Can you imagine? Eight, nine, ten years old. Your equipment. It talks about the equipment. And then the story of skin diving. So these little books actually came with Flippy the Skin Diver, all part of that. And then along with Flippy the Skin Diver as well, you got little pellets. And the tank detaches from Flippy, and you put the pellets inside the tank. And then you put Flippy into the water, bathtub, maybe, pond, whatever. And the pellets were actually, I think, was, I think they were um, calcium carb carbide or sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate. When it meets water, it starts to fizz and bubble like Alka-Seltzer. And as the bubbles escape, it makes the frogman go up, bubbles come out, he goes back down, and it makes him travel along. Here's another one, a little later one, because it was, it's actually pretty popular, and this shows two Flippy the Frogman. Flippy the Frogman. And there's the pellets that you put inside. This came with 50 pellets. No strings, no wires, no batteries. And you put these in there, and these are hours and hours of fun. Flippy the Frogman. Pretty neat, huh? Last one. Last one. For the very special... The good little boys who wanted to be scuba divers or skin divers. Well, if you did, then you could become, you could get this. 
You can just imagine me, six, seven, eight, nine years old. I see this in the store. I see this in the in the Eaton's Christmas catalog. Remember waiting for the Eaton's Christmas catalog? Oh. There it is, scuba outfit. I was going to be a frogman. I wanted those scuba diving. There it is, underwater scuba outfit. So what is it? Well, you can see from the picture in the front, which is better than the actual inside, there's actually a mask with a couple of hoses. Because this is old, it has two hoses. Right? And those two hoses go up to the surface. Now, you can't go very deep with this. You can see a picture down here. The diver's just a few feet down. And on the surface, there's these two blue rubber floats. And those two blue rubber floats, all they really do is support a snorkel. Ah, there's a snorkel that holds it on the surface so it stays out of the water. The tube comes up underneath and connects to that snorkel. So you're underwater with this mask that fits over your whole face, double hoses, just like Mike Nelson, a tube to the surface and a snorkel. I feel like, wow, I'll tell you, it was fantastic. So that's what it looked like. Let's take a peek on the inside. Most of it's in here, not everything, but there's the mask. There's the tubes, there's the snorkel. Now again, I talked earlier about the man who was upset because the mask I sent him didn't fit. He was 45 years old. He said, I thought this mask would fit me, I could use it. This is a full face mask. It's supposed to cover your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. That's going to be a problem. They're going to fit me. It was for kids. But you see how it works. You have a good idea how it works. For special little boys who want to be a frogman. That's what that was all about. Let me put that back in there carefully. Boom, cheapers. There we go. There you go, folks. Some of the games that I have collected over the years about skin diving and scuba diving. Vintage games, old games. They don't make games like this anymore. I don't think anymore. Anyway, and uh, I certainly don't see kids playing with them. I have more. Maybe we'll get some more of those old games out. I hope you kind of enjoyed it. Maybe it brought back some memories. Maybe a little tear to your eye. I remember that. It's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'm the same. When I look at some of this stuff, I remember my mom and dad, uh, who we weren't wealthy, and they would work very, very hard to try to get me things that I really wanted. I became a scuba diver because of them. Maybe you're in the same boat. Fun stuff, huh? Alec Pierce Scuba, vintage scuba games for young scuba divers. Hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you soon.